with the COVID situation, it was a perfect opportunity to completely revamp delivery because of the social distancing. First thing that we did was the Zoom workshops. What I asked them to do was instead of me pointing on my slides, I was saying you point on my slides. So you take the annotate and you start circling the, the right answer on my slide. We created beautiful um, masterpieces of art on my slides. Transitioning from face-to-face -face learning to online learning has been challenging, but then it was just a matter of changing your mindset. Every year we need to adapt, and this year we had to adapt a lot with um, not having students on the campus. With this unit particular, it's very hands-on usually for students to learn how to make tablets and creams. We have to think about how we can do this without all being in the same lab at the same time. In class, none of the groups are doing the same batch. We study the influence of factors that we are changing. Because we have 85 students, we have many groups, so we can afford um, changing one factor per group except when no one is here to do that, <laughs> we have to do it ourselves. This year, we decided to film every single experiment that the students need to do. We decided to run every single of the trials. What was important was the fact that we recorded real values for every single of the batch we made. The entire 100 students um, practiced to be done by three people. And we were literally here five days for eight hours filming 30 trials for each prac, so 60 in total. The TAs have done an amazing job preparing videos. They've done every single experiment. You're not getting to experience the hands-on process of preparing a tablet or a cream, but you're certainly getting a very thorough guided tour of what it's like to actually use this equipment. The great thing about this is they saw it as many times as they wanted because they had the opportunity to see every single trial as opposed to only theirs if they had been in the lab. And these resources, to be honest, I'm going to use them forever. But we are also thinking about new ways of running the pracs. For example, instead of having the five students in the group, we have two students in the lab and they are running the prac. We have to have two other students who are remotely connected to these students. They might think, yes, I'm not going to touch the buttons that many times, yes, but the times where you're going to touch the buttons are going to be 100% more significant than when you are five to touch the buttons because without you, there is no, no prac. In the real world, you are half at your desk, half in, in the lab. You are not necessarily in front of your machine waiting for the thing to happen. You are doing something else. If you want to see the positive side, there is a, an enormous, huge positive side.